He says, it wrote the lines of a significant myth. That is the story of savagery. It is at the time of first contact with the emanation from the divine, with the atmosphere of the earth, that the story of savagery was decided. Almost that day, the epiphany was disclosed, of which our thoughts and hopes are signal flares. A lonely splendor from the invisible goal almost was flung on the opaque inane. Once more, a tread perturbed the vacant vast. Infinity center, a face of rapturous calm, parted the eternal lids that opened heaven. A form from far beatitudes seemed to near. Ambassadress twixt eternity and change, the omniscient goddess leaned across the breadths that wrapped the fated journeyings of the stars and saw the spaces ready for her feet. It is the coming down of the mother. A lonely splendor from the invisible goal almost was flung on the opaque inane. It is savagery coming down. There is nothing to say. Nothing comes. It is all complete as it is. There is nothing to explain and nothing to add. Once she half looked behind for her veiled son, then thoughtful went to her immortal work. Earth felt the imperishable's passage close. The waking ear of nature heard her steps and wideness turned to her. Its limitless eye and scattered on seal depths, her luminous smile kindled to fire the silence of the worlds. All grew a consecration and a rite. Air was a vibrant link between earth and heaven. The wide-winged hymn of a great priestly wind arose and failed upon the altar hills. The high boughs prayed in a revealing sky. That is to express how nature was conscious of her descent, because this descent was changing the attitude and nature of things. She came down to kindle the fire of aspiration. Nature was conscious of her arrival. <clears throat> All that is considered as inanimate nature, that is, the wind, the water, and the trees, and the flowers, everything received her joyously. It is only man who did not know. <clears throat> 